हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नाउ इन द बॉर्हिव सिंड्रोम वी हैव टू सी द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ बॉर्हिव सिंड्रोम सो फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ बॉर्हिव सिंड्रोम right we have to first and foremost when the patient comes to you with the uh, perforation of esophagus then we should do appropriate resuscitation secure the airways give the patient appropriate iv fluids and broad spectrum antibiotics are given to the patient immediately all these are given immediately and the patient is monitored now if the patient now the treatment depends upon the time of the presentation now if the patient presents if the patient presents within 24 hours if the patient presents within 24 hours of leakage then of injury of perforation then you will have to do primary closure of the esophageal perforation is done first if he comes within 24 hours primary closure of the perforation is done because within 24 hours e inflammation is minimal so primary closure is recommended in this case next mortality rate of this patient is 8 to 20 percent now second if the patient now if the patient presents after 24 hours now if the patient presents after 24 hours in such cases first and foremost we should do the debridement of the devitalized tissue is done first you should do debridement followed by a diversion esophageal diversion and resection is done with creation of esophagostomy with wide drainage and feeding jejunostomy should be done so first and foremost if there is a uh, tear here now you should debride all the devitalized tissue and then you should divert it first you will divert it divert the feeding and then you should create an esophagostomy not here actually you will divert it this side below and you will create an esophagostomy so that the feeding can be given through this esophagostomy and then at the end oh sorry so, sorry for the feeding we do feeding jejunostomy for feeding you will do an esophagostomy mainly for the drainage of secretion i forgot sorry i got confused so let me explain this again so actually so for right first and foremost if the patient presents after 24 hours that means already inflammation has been started there can be gangrene formation also so first you will debride all the devitalized tissue and then you will either resect the esophagus or you will divert the esophagus so that any secretions here will be diverted will be drained and then you will create an esophagostomy outside and you will do wide drainage completely and then you do feeding jejunostomy of the patient after some time you will do an anastomosis with a conduit can be done later then mortality rate of this patient who presents after 24 hours is almost 50 percent Thank you and thank you for watching.